Hey, welcome back to the BCR Garage. So you're looking for some ideas on how you can load test your Harley Davidson battery or any battery for that matter. Well, you come to the right place. Stick around and I'm going to show you three ways you can load test your battery. So if you follow my channel, you may have seen my recent battery replacement video where I replaced the battery on my 2013 Road Glide Custom right here. And I had mentioned that it was starting to hesitate upon starting. And uh, I know that just by from experience that that's the first sign of a battery going bad. And these bikes don't run when you don't have a good battery, so it's important to know the health of your battery. So I just based it on experience and performance. But there are ways you can actually test your battery, and I'm going to show you the three ways as I mentioned. So here's the equipment that I'm going to run you through. Starting with a very cheap run-of-the-mill multimeter or a step-up Klein multimeter or something of better quality. A digital battery tester and then finally a carbon pile load tester sometimes they're referred to as toasters these are real old school but really the only true way to put a load on your battery short of using your uh, actual starter on your vehicle the battery we're going to be testing today is the one I took out of my road glide which uh, it still was working, but it, like I said, it was starting to go. So we'll see what kind of test results we get. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is the uh, Harbor Freight Multimeter. It's a Centec. I'm going to put in a clip from a video that I, where I actually uh, was testing my battery in the bike with this unit right here. And it's just got the, uh, the standard leads on it. It's much more convenient to have alligator clips, which I'll show you in a minute. But all you got to do is set it on a, a 20 DC volts, turn it on, and then touch the uh, leads, black to black, red to red. And then you have to start your bike. And then you have to watch the uh, readout on here, which is hard to do. You actually have to record it because it flashes so quickly. But anyway, I'll put that clip in here and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, now I'm going to turn on my ignition. And now we're going to watch the, uh, the reading very closely when I hit my start button. So I'm going to turn on my run switch. And she's in neutral. So here we go. I had to go back and look at my footage to see what uh, my multimeter was reading when I went to start it. Because it went by so fast. Uh, but what we learned is that it went all the way down to 7.0, I believe it was 7. Could have been 0.4. So just above seven, that's, that's no good. The battery's on its way out. Next, we've got the Klein multimeter, and I can't load test this because the battery's already out of the bike. All I can do is check voltage, and uh, I've got it set up with the alligator clips. So same thing, you just set it to 20 DC volts, and then red to positive, black to negative, and that'll just simply show us our, our volts. And uh, if you can see that, it says 13.11, which is excellent. Basically anything over 12.6 is pretty, pretty darn good. 
12, 6 to 13 is usually what you're looking for. This is nice too because it's got a kickstand on the back and it's just a real nice unit. And you can do the same test I just showed you from the uh, clip I inserted with this, except a lot easier because it's got the alligator clips. Okay, next is these uh, little digital battery testers. These things are pretty slick. They don't actually put a load on your battery. What they do is send a small current through the battery that measures uh, internal resistance. And, and it uses that along with information that you input to come up with a uh, battery rating and it'll show you all the data. I'll show you how this works. So these are powered by the battery you're hooking them up to. Red to positive, black to negative, and you can see it turn right on. Now we're going to go down to battery out of vehicle. And then you select the battery type. In this case, it's a absorbed glass mat flat plate battery. That's this right second choice right here. Um, it'll do regular flooded AGM flat plate, AGM spiral. That's where you have the six uh, like tubes, you know, circular looking battery. Um, that's how you can tell it's a spiral. Um, a gel battery and a enhanced flooded battery. So we're taking the uh, AGM flat plate and then you enter. And then you you can choose what parameter you want to use like cold cranking amps, cranking amps, BCI, MCA, there's a whole bunch of them. But basically all you need is the cold cranking amps. Next we enter our cold cranking amp rating which on this one as I said was 500. You just scroll down or up, there we go, 500 amps. And now as soon as I hit enter, it'll start testing. Okay, it says it's a good battery. Hope you can see this, but if not, I'll read it off. It says it's uh, healthy, it's at 75% of its cold cranking amps. That's actually, uh, getting to be pretty borderline, which is why I was uh, seeing the delay when I would go to start the bike. It would turn over and then pause and then turn over again. Uh, charge 100%, 13.01 volts, which is uh, very similar to what we got on the Klein. Internal resistance, 5.8 milliohm. Uh, it says it's a good battery, and it is. It was still working but I like to replace them uh, before they go bad. So these things are real slick and they're very cheap. I think I paid maybe $25 for this on Amazon. And I'll link to all this equipment in the description below and there'll be my Amazon affiliate links. So if you do click through and purchase, I will get a small commission, which I will use uh, towards uh, future videos and equipment for the channel. And lastly, to uh, be able to put a load on the battery with it out of the vehicle, this is the only way to go. And it's kind of nice to have the digital um, battery tester as, as well as one of these, so you can kind of confirm results. So this is, uh, they call, like I said, they call it a carbon pile load tester. It's got a series of carbon plates inside, a whole stack of them. You can't really see it, but they're inside there. And as you turn your load dial, it compresses them and changes the internal resistance and places a load on your battery. It's got your input scale over here and then your um, result scale over here. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook up our clamps and these have the car style clamps on them red to positive 
black to negative. And you can see that it's reading just over 13 amps. And then that corresponds to the last two tests we did. And then uh, state of charge is in the green, so that's good, so it's ready for testing. So I'm going to turn this knob, I'm going to keep turning it until I get to half the cold cranking amps. And again, this is a 500 cold cranking amp battery. So we're going to put 250 amps of load on it. And 250 corresponds to 500. If you draw an imaginary line straight down, this bottom blue scale is cold cranking amps. But don't confuse that. This, the instructions are confusing. Don't confuse that with um, a test scale because you're not to test off that scale. That just shows the relationship between half your amps and what the full power of the battery is. So again, we have a 500 cold cranking amp battery and we're going to test that half of that, which is 250. And you can see on here it says, apply load to battery equal to half the CCA rating. You can also test using amp hours, that's the green scale, but we're not going to be doing that today. A lot of batteries don't even show that. This particular Drake Specialties one does have it on there, but we're going to use cold cranking amps. And this has a uh, automatic 15 second timer. It'll, so it'll start beeping after 15 seconds of load and then you're supposed to back off. And if you see any smoke coming out of here, that is normal because it generates a lot of heat. This gets very hot. All right. I'm going to start applying the load and we're going up to 250 and then we have to read the, um, the, the uh, top scale on this side and if it stays in the green it's a good battery the higher the better and it's graduated by outside temperature so it's it's close to 70 today so we're going to be using the very top All right, here we go. Okay, the needle's moving now. And we're at 250. And you see it's in the green, but at the lower part of the green, So it is a good battery and we just confirmed our results with our digital tester. So you back that all the way off before you take your clamps off. Okay, so good battery but towards the end of its life and uh, we confirmed all our results and I'm real happy with that. All right, well I hope this was helpful to some of you out there. If it was, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do. I've got a lot of good uh, Harley maintenance type videos on my YouTube channel and a lot more coming your way. I also do moto vlogs and event coverage and gear reviews. And I also do some nice stuff. That'll do it for the Bruce City Rider on this one. See you out on the road. Catch you later, guys. BCR out.